Here's an introduction to fourth species counterpoint. This example right here is first species, and I'll play it, and I'll do some octave adjustments because my keyboard is very small. So very good for species, had a little MIDI hanging note there, but let's go ahead and analyze this. We've got G to D is a fifth, six, six. We have a nice subdivided leap here. We go into it and out of it appropriately. Um, here we've got a third and a sixth, six, six, three, six, six octave. So a very good example of first species. I'll play it one more time. Listen for the fifth and the octave at the beginning, and the middle is all entirely imperfect consonances of sixes and thirds. So fourth species is similar to first species because it's one-to-one, -one, but the upper voice is shifted a half measure. This is actually the very same uh, melody as here, but rather than starting on the downbeat, it starts halfway through the measure, so it's exactly 180 degrees out of phase with the other melody. And this creates some interesting uh, musical results. So if we go through and we look at the intervals here, um, something pretty interesting is happening. So we know that these numbers will be down here. This fifth comes in on the second of the measure. The sixth is here because we're out of alignment. Six, three, six, 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 three, six, six octave. So now we have the same counterpoint we had up here, the upper voice delayed, so these intervals are occurring on the weak beat of the measure. What happens on the downbeat, though, is what's particularly interesting. If you look here, this is a sixth, and it leaps up a sixth. Look right here, this is a seven. Seven is a dissonance, and this is the first time we are allowed to have a dissonance on the downbeat. Look here, a four. This is the first time we have a dissonance on the downbeat. A seven, dissonance on the downbeat. Seven, dissonance on the downbeat. All right here, this is an octave. Consonants on the downbeat. Seven, dissonance on the downbeat. Seven, dissonance on the downbeat. Okay, so... I'm going to play from right here. Actually, I'm going to start right here on the C and the E. I'm playing this right here. Now I'm going to play the same thing here, and I'll start on this note and bring this note in. So what for fourth species does is it allows you to have a dissonance on the weak beat. It's the first time you've been allowed to have that. Um, I do want to tell you that 
This may give you a false impression that you can write a first species counterpoint and then just shift it over and you'll automatically have a fourth species counterpoint. That is definitely not true. Um, this only works because I took a lot of time to figure out one that would work this way. So don't start with the first species and shift it over and think that you will have a good example. So now let's talk about what this species introduces. This introduces um, uh, suspensions, which you may remember from theory is a they call it a non-chord tone. This is a specific type of dissonance. A suspension has three parts. Um, I'm going to do it here, showing it across the bar line, which is how it occurs in this species. You have here the consonant preparation, then tied across the bar line. The note can become a dissonant suspension. And then it must resolve down by step to the resolution. OK, so just to uh, recap this, and I want to compare this to second species. Do you remember in second species, we had a series of half notes, like so. And the downbeat was required to be consonant, and the weak beat could be consonant or dissonant. Now, um, suspensions basically flip this around. In suspensions, in fourth species, the weak beat must be consonant. And then that beat must tie over to the next measure. This note can be either consonant or dissonant. If it is dissonant, you have to step down to a consonant note. So dissonant steps down. If this note is consonant, you can step or leap to a consonant note. Okay, so in second species, the downbeat is consonant, the weak beat can be consonant or dissonant. In fourth species, the weak beat is always consonant, and the downbeat can be consonant or dissonant. If it is dissonant, it's a dissonant suspension, which means it needs to step down to a consonant pitch. I'm going to pause this a second and actually give you another video in which I explain what's happening here. Do you see how there's primarily four threes and seven sixes? OK, I'm going to do that as a separate video just so we can have it in smaller segments.